Welcome to the presentation of the paper, High Speed Entity Based Polynomial Multiplication Accelerator for Post Quantum Cryptography. My name is Mosha Bishan Yasser, and this is a joint work with the Reza Azardarash and Meha Mozafari Kermani. In this presentation, we will have a brief introduction about post quantum cryptography and different uh, implementation strategies. Then we will have the Kyber protocol and I will present the proposed architecture for high-speed polynomial multiplier. Then we will review the implementation results and comparison with the previous work. At the end, we have a conclusion. Let's start with the motivation of this work. Based on the Schwartz algorithm, the current classical crypto systems will be broken when we have a large scale of the quantum computers. Therefore, NIST started the process of the uh, standardization of the quantum safe algorithms in 2016. After several rounds, four candidates uh, will be uh, were announced as a finalist. Between them, that is space cryptography is a uh, attractive candidates. The entity for uh, can be used for the accelerating the lattice based cryptography by reducing the complexity of the polynomial multiplication from n2 to uh, roughly n log n. On the other hand, for a widely deployed crypto system, we have to reduce the overall complexity, which can be used for the different application with the different and variety of the uh, latency and uh, utilization requirements. There are two main approaches for implementing the hardware-based implementation. The first one is the hardware software co-design and the second one is the pure hardware architecture. Although hardware software co-design can uh, provide uh, more flexibility and it is easier to uh, develop, the pure hardware implementation can reduce uh, the latency and also uh, um, re uh, re uh, reduce the required uh, resources, which results in the better performance and efficiency results. Therefore, in this paper, we focus on the pure hardware implementation of the Crystal Kyber as a finalist in the round three NIST competition. In this paper, uh, uh, Kyber actually uh, is based on the module, uh, module learning with errors and its bottleneck for implementation is the entity which needs the large memory and complex memory access pattern. The previous implementation of the Kyber can be categorized in the three uh, strategies, software, hardware software co-design and the pure hardware architecture. The first hardware software uh, co-design approach is uh, was uh, reported in 2019 using HSL-based architecture. After that, several works using RISC-V architecture were uh, proposed. However, there are only few pure hardware implementation of the Kyber. Then proposed the high-performance architecture for Kyber, while Huang proposed a resource re uh, reusing approach while it used uh, 200, uh, almost 200 uh, block memories. Jing also uh, very recently proposed a compact hardware implementation of the Kyber using only three uh, block memories. As one can see here, the hardware software co-design can reduce significantly the required latency of the software implementation. However, hardware, uh, pure hardware implementations can reduce uh, and uh, save a lot of the times and uh, utilize area compared to hardware software co-design. In this paper, we propose a new modular reduction algorithm which can be easily implemented in the hardware. We have also developed a reconfigurable hardware architecture uh, which can be used for different parameter sets implemented under Arctic 7 FPGA. Our results show that we uh, achieved 44% improvements in terms of area time uh, products compared to previous work using fewer resources. We have also proposed a high performance co-processor Kyber architecture, which can be, uh, which can outperform uh, the previous works. 
The Kyber protocol is shown in this slide. Since the entity, inverse entity, and polynomial multiplication shown in the red boxes are integrated to the one modules in our architecture, improving this module can be uh, significantly improve the total uh, performance and uh, efficiency of the design. Therefore, we focus on the, these uh, modules, the entity, I mean, uh, module, to make it uh, fast and efficient compared to previous work. The polynomial multiplication in the lattice space cryptography can be uh, implemented significantly uh, and efficiently, I, I mean, in the entity domain. Therefore, we need to uh, 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 convert our polynomial from the normal domain to the entity domain, domain by uh, multiplying its coefficients with the twiddle factors and pre-processing scaling factors. After that, the pointwise multiplication between the polynomial in the entity domain can be performed efficiently, and the results should be converted back to the normal domain using inverse entity uh, formula. There are two uh, butterfly architectures uh, to implement the uh, entity and inverse entity called CD butterfly and GS butterfly. However, performing the uh, implementing the entity using the CT butterfly and inverse entity using the GS butterfly uh, can avoid the uh, overhead of uh, bit reverse uh, permutation in the polynomial multiplication. As one can see, uh, these uh, two butterfly architectures need one modular addition, one modular uh, subtraction, and one modular uh, multiplication. For implementing the modular reduction, there are two main approaches which uh, I studied in the previous work, Barrett reduction and Montgomery reduction. However, K-rate reduction uh, can be used for a special form of the prime proposed by Longa. In this approach, uh, two main uh, functions uh, named caret and caret uh, 2x can be used, uh, which can be easily implemented in the hardware using only shifter and adder without any DSP block. We have also can uh, eliminate the extra factor of the k and k2 in these two functions used uh, by uh, manipulating and scaling the total factors of the uh, uh, our uh, entity. Therefore, based on this algorithm, we propose the K2 reduction algorithms using only four shifts and six additions. And it keeps an output width to 12 bits. Based on this uh, algorithm, uh, since we have only one uh, reduction algorithm instead of both k red and uh, k red 2 x uh, we uh, actually reduce the required memory to store, uh, to, uh, store the uh, scaled twiddle factors. The proposed algorithm is shown here where uh, while it uh, consists of two steps. In each step, we perform one k reduction algorithm. Therefore, the output of the second step uh, will be k2c mod q. Using this efficient uh, modular uh, um, reduction algorithm, uh, we propose the polynomial multiplication uh, core. It consists of four butterfly, um, butterfly units uh, to merge two layers of the entity or inverse entity and perform two butterfly operation in each layer. As I mentioned before, we use the uh, CT configurations, uh, CT configuration for entity and GS configuration work for inverse entity. We have also considered an extra mode for uh, supporting the odd numbers of layers uh, by bypassing the first butterfly row in this architecture. Therefore, we can uh, reduce the complexity of the entity computation and reduce the uh, required memory using different approaches and techniques uh, including symmetric property of the twiddle factors in the entity and inverse entity. To handle the uh, special form of the entity RAM architecture, we consider and implement four uh, buffer with different uh, uh, depths and capacity 
to store the butterfly uh, uh, results. The special actually architecture of our memory is shown here. As one can see, four coefficients uh, are uh, stored in each line. Therefore, uh, we can read and uh, write four coefficients per cycle. Since our design is fully pipeline, uh, we can actually uh, read and write each uh, four coefficients in each cycle. Uh, however, we consider six idle cycles after the first round, uh, which performs the stage one and two of the entity. Uh, we uh, consider six uh, idle cycles uh, between the round one and round two. Additionally, the pipeline latency in this architecture consists of the required latency for the reading uh, RAM uh, butterfly operation and also uh, buffering the results from the uh, butterfly units. For implementing the uh, proposed architecture for Crystal Kyber, we use the highest speed core implementation of the catch-up. It needs only 24 cycles for, for performing one round of the catch-up. We have also uh, implemented special uh, buffers, serial input parallel output, and a parallel input serial output for interfacing with catch-up. The serial input parallel output can, uh, can used for feeding the catch-up and the parallel input serial output uh, receive the results from the catch-up and uh, feed the other units. We have also implemented binomial and rejection sampler units in the parallel with the catch-up core to hide its required latency. Our results for the proposed uh, K-Tour rate reduction algorithm compared to other algorithms is shown in this a slide. As one can see, we reduced the utilized uh, LUTs and flip flop without any uh, PSP utilization. We have also can improve the maximum operate, uh, operating frequency compared to the other algorithms. We have also can uh, reduce the required uh, memory with uh, for storing the scaling uh, twiddle factor. Uh, compared to k rate reduction algorithm. Using this efficient uh, reduction algorithm, uh, we can see here our, uh, the implementation results for the entity with uh, 1,024 points. As one can see, different uh, optimization perspective can be used for implementing the entity. For example, MERT et al. Uh, use very high performance architecture at the cost of using a lot of resources. However, we uh, propose the efficient architecture for implementing the entity. As one can see, our results achieve uh, achieves forty four percent improvement in terms of the area time uh, product compared to the best previous work, and uh, while it is uh, faster that uh, that work. For the parameter set of the Kyber with n equal to 256, our results is shown here. As one can see, our results achieves more than 78% improvement in terms of the uh, area time product. And it uh, shows a, a significant speed up by factor of the 2.18 compared to the best previous work. Our results for the implementing the Kyber in the all three NIST security level is shown here compared to the previous works. As one can see, our results is the fastest design compared to previous works in all these three uh, security levels. We have also shown that uh, we achieved a considerable uh, improvement in terms of the area time product compared to them. To visualize the comparison between different modules and uh, between implementations for the uh, 
uh, Kyber uh, in the NIST security level one, uh, we show this figure. As one can see, we achieve 21% uh, improvements in terms of the area time product compared to the best previous work, and also achieves 14% uh, improvements in terms of the time. To compare them with the other P2CS scheme, we compare our results, our uh, design in the NIST security level one with the PSYC, Frodo, and Saber schemes. As one can see, our results is the fastest design compared to the other P2C schemes and achieves better area time product compared to them. To conclude, we optimize the implementation of the entity core using merging layers, designing a configurable butterfly core to support the entity, inverse entity, and uh, polynomial multiplication. And we propose an efficient reduction unit. Our results show 44% efficiency improvements in terms of the area time product compared to other entity implementations. We also show that we can perform uh, all key exchange mechanism operation for the crystal fiber for the all three NIST security levels. For the NIST security level one, uh, the tree generation, encapsulation, and decapsulation can be performed in the 9, 12, and 19 microseconds, uh, respectively. For the future work, we are going to implement, uh, extend our work uh, with adding some uh, effective side channel control measures. We have also want to reduce the required memory units to uh, make the design feasible for the IoT devices. Thank you for your attention.